Hello everybody and welcome back to some more of our FM19 journeyman in charge of Osasuna B and well the things are really getting tight right now we need 12 points in four games we need to win every game and we need Ebro to lose every game to have any chance of avoiding relegation now just because like I feel like this is fairly relevant to point out we can't actually get relegated we're already in the bottom level so it would just keep us where we are but it's still, you don't want to finish in those relegation playoff places, I guess. I think that's how it's worked anyway. But let's let's submit the team. If it ends up, you know, we actually can get relegated, I don't know what we're going to do. Like, if we get sacked, I don't know what we're going to do. That'd be interesting. It's not going to happen anyway. We're going to win all these games. We're rolling out with the same team, as you probably saw. And, well, I'm, I'm a little bit optimistic. We've had some big wins. We've had two 4-0s and a 3-0 recently. Maybe we can turn this around. The only issue is we started in such a poor position that every single dropped point mattered and it's left us in this really awkward place. But we do have a corner in the first 10 minutes. We put it in. Ismail's on the ball. Puts it back out wide to Ramirez. Maybe we can get something here. The long ball finds Casado, who gets tackled and now they are in possession. They are looking to come forward. The ball goes to Adrian Perez. To it is Serpe. That's definitely not how you say that name. But either way, Perez with a wonderful save to put it out for a corner. And they're going to take this now. Calvillo puts it in. Can we claim? We can. Perez does a great job. And now we need to try and find an attack. Because we picked up a couple of early yellow cards. Not going to help us, that's for sure. Uh, we need to try and find some way to get, well, a goal at the very least. They have a free kick. Calvillo puts in. It hits the bar. The second shot deflects off a of verse. Goes out for a corner. Got away with that one massively. It was a very good free kick, actually. He's hit the bar from that range. They take the corner. We head clear just about, but they're still in possession of the ball on this right flank. No one's closing them down. The pass goes to the edge of the box to a regwi, but Martinez tackles, but it's been given as a free kick. My TV's on, and that's visible, isn't it? I'll turn that off in a second. Um, actually, do we have time? I don't know why the remote is. Ah! Panic! Unprofessionalism! No! Uh, they didn't score, it went out for a goal kick, the TV's off, that stopped being annoying in the background now. <sighs> Nothing but the highest quality of video on here. I don't know why we didn't just pause the game, to be honest. That would have been smart. But, they have another corner, it goes into the box. Oh, it just, like, just about goes in. Perez was a bit slow on the reaction. And they're able to go 1-0 up before half-time. Oh. Well, that's gutting. I mean, the first one here hits the bar. We put a leg out and just about stop it. But Perez's reaction was just so slow that we couldn't keep the ball out. And what are... Oh, Ebro are drawing. Now, that's actually not good enough. We need them to lose. But, well, while we're losing, it doesn't really make a difference. We now need to get two goals at the very least. We need to go in aggressively. Say, so show me something else. Ismail didn't like it, but everyone else looked fired up and switched on. This is all this is all a bit much now, I think. I, it's going to be difficult, let's put it that way. Well, there is a highlight here. We seem to win the ball. Casado, no, the clearance isn't good enough. And they strike. It goes just wide. This is all very, very tense. We need two goals. We need to make changes. We need to make changes. I don't know what. I genuinely have no idea. Um, let's bring on Barbero on this left wing for Ismail. And Santafe in the centre for Martinez. Yeah, that'll do. Let's go. Let's kick on and hopefully, just maybe, we could try and find a couple of goals. We have a throw in. Eight minutes to play. Leboe, Esabria, Oroki. Out to Casado, into Ramirez. Can we find anything? Casado's on it. To Ramirez, who strikes. It's not good enough. It hits the bar. We still need two goals. It's not been, It's not going to be done. And we need Ebro to concede. Leboe takes a free kick to Barbero. It again goes over. Not good enough. Oh, wait. We do have a corner. Tipped it over the bar then. But Ramirez takes. It goes to Leboe. Not a good corner at all. That's dreadful. They pump forward and, well, that fades out and <sighs> chances are looking very slim here. And, well, that's us relegated. That is us relegated. Assuming that there's no, you know, we need three goals to happen. Two in our game and one in the other one for us to have any chance of staying up. That is going to see us down. <sighs> Disappointed, really. 
um, let's aggressively go in there and say this this is unacceptable. Yeah, they all they all had some form of reaction, but. Now we've just got three games down where we're already relegated. But we do still need to put points on the board. We need to try and not finish bottom, if anything, because, well, we just want to be more competitive. We want to prove that we can do this. We have some good teams left to play, though, and it's going to be difficult. So it should be some interesting games either way, providing... Oh, no, we don't have a job. We've just been sacked. Okay, this episode's going to end here. I'm going to have to go and find a job. I don't know what to do now. Um, this would be a really short episode. Should I take you through the job market and we'll see like sort of who's available and where we can maybe go? It took ages to get this job as well. Oh, that's a pain in the arse. Arse is probably the strongest word I've said on this channel ever. Um, Swedish first tier. Is the job open? Is it open? No, it's not. Okay, I was going to see if Source Land was available and we'd just go back. Um, it doesn't appear to be, though. We've not even got it set to manager, so let me just do that. That has actually caused our reputation to drop. <sighs> That's frustrating, really, because we took on a really difficult job in a really difficult position. We gave it a pretty decent go, I thought. I thought we did fairly all right. We had some good wins, all that stuff. But we started in such a bad position that there was just no possible way that we were ever going to really save it. And now we have to go and find another job with worse reputation. And we're going to basically end up back where we started, I think. But, or if not, in a worse position than that. That is quite the setback. I mean, I don't even know where it's possible. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, they've got some bloke in charge. Let's see if I can find his job security. Hold up a second. His job is stable. We can't go back. We can't go back to Torslander. It's not possible. They don't. They're not going to just sack him because we're available again. They are in thirteenth though, which is ah, the season's only just started. To be fair, but I feel like we would be doing better. Mistakes were definitely made in leaving Torslander, I think it's fair to say. Is anyone still there who we knew? Um, quite a few players, actually. Anton Salahu, Samiqui, Ekman, Kettler, Lindroth. A few have been moved on by the looks of things. Uh, Anton Ols Oh, no, Anton Ols is there. And Anton Eriksson. I'm trying to see if anyone's really gone, but it doesn't look like it. Massey, Olsen and Brahimi are still there. Al Jafari's gone. Um, Fundar Ryberg and Landholm are still there, along with Nasir and Scoob, but that seems to be the only defenders for now. They've binned off everyone else. Oh, Asmar's gone. Oh, poor bloke. But, in a job where I don't really think we did that badly, we've been sacked, which is disappointing, really. We are now in April, so there's not going to be any leagues really ongoing. We basically have to go to the start of next season, I think. So... This is properly thrown a spanner and everything's worked because I'm really busy this week as well. So if videos don't go up for maybe a day or two, it's because this has messed everything up. Not a lot I can do about that, but... Well, we'll call an end to this video here, I guess, and I'm going to go on a job hunt. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this very short episode. Let me know what you think about our sacking. I guess that's the question of the day. Do you think that was justified? Do you think it was fair? Where do you want to see us move to next? All of those questions, get them answered. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all tomorrow. The video will be up at 5.30 or in the feed if you want to subscribe. Catch you all tomorrow. Goodbye.